so much for joining us on this brief Thank fire you. chat. Thank you so uh, we just finished the first um, plenary, what we want for Nigeria. Uh, based on what the Minister of Finance, as well as Atelier Peter Side and, and other panelists did mention regarding the fact that, you know, they expect a simultaneous um, growth across different sectors. However, they did um, point out the fact that this technology space is growing rapidly. So how can we actually, you know, spread this level of success across other sectors? I mean, thank you so much. So uh, clearly, um, what emerged there is that this tech sector has, um, okay, so there are two sides to it. Um, somebody made that statement that the tech sector has really grown in spite of government. Mm -hmm. But you remember what Professor Ositogu said, former Chief Economic Advisor to President Abbasanjo, and also Mr. Vice President. Uh, both of them in their own interventions suggested that yes, indeed, this sector's, uh, that sector has grown, but it's not in spite of government. Uh, because government needs to put in place the, uh, the, the policies, government needs to put in place the, the, the regulation, and government also needs to monitor. And so, in a way, the point they were making is that, you see, both the, the government and this private sector need to work together to even expand that sector even more. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the tech sector is growing. It, it holds tremendous opportunity. Uh, that's fantastic. But there are also other sectors, especially sectors in which you need... Uh, oh, sorry, which have the capacity to employ large numbers of people, like the agricultural sector, for instance. Um, over about 42% of our GDP is based on, you know, the agricultural sector. So, but we must continue to innovate in that sector, deploy technology, improve extension services to farmers, um, to really, um, uh, you know, help that sector to grow. Okay. And one thing that I must emphasize is this: if you look at the whole concept of food inflation the high cost of living now. The question is, why is this inflation so high? There are security dimensions to it. There is um, uh, that security uh, uh, dimension which has constrained farmers from going to the farm. And what this has meant is that, you know, um, you know, if farmers are not going to the farm, they're not able to plant. If they don't plant, there's nothing to harvest. Okay? Yes. So the little that was also cultivated has more recently been wiped out literally by the huge floods that we've seen in different parts of the country. So, but that does not mean, uh, that does not take away from the potential of the agricultural sector. So it's one area where we must pay attention to because food insecurity is one of the worst things that can happen to any nation, okay? Um, the other sector that you want to look at very, very uh, um, seriously is um, the, the, um, the, um, the, 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 the financial uh, services, services. Uh, sector. Um, again, even though, even though things have changed dramatically, but it's still one sector where, uh, because of innovations in technology, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people are also uh, getting employed, getting involved, um, in spite of the fact that there's a high dosage of, uh, high use of uh, devices in that uh, sector as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for the um, knowledge shared. And I hope you do have a fantastic um, two-day summit here Thank in Transco. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Yeah. Thank you.